in this case the question is why limited forfeited 90 shares of 10 each rupees 8 called up issued at a premium of 2 per share to R a shareholder for non-payment of allotment money of rupees 5 including premium. Premium is 2 that is capital 3 plus 2. Out of these 80 shares were reissued to Sanjay as rupees 8 called up for rupees 10 per share. In the books of a while dead, working notes, note 1, distribution of amount and number of instruments that is application rupees 5, allotment rupees 3 plus 2. Then this is a first and final call which has not been called that is rupees 2. Total is rupees 10 capital plus rupees 2 premium that is rupees 12. Number of shares forfeited is equal to 90 shares. Number of shares reissued 80 shares. Note 2 amount of a capital reserve in case of partial reissue. Amount forfeited by number of shares forfeited into number of shares reissued minus discount on reissue. That is rupees 450 by 90 into 80. 450 is the forfeited amount that is on 90 shares rupees 5. 9 5 ja 45 450 by 90 number of shares forfeited into reissued is 80 minus 0. There is no discount on reissue. The capital is reserved is 400 which is your answer. The next is your journal entry, fair notes, journal entries of Y limited. After drawing the proper format, the first entry is share capital account debit, 90 shares at rupees 8 is called up. We called application and allotment excluding premium. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 that is 720, 9, 8, 9 just 72, 720. Security is premium reserve account debited. Premium here has not been collected along with allotment. It will be separately shown as 90 into 2. 90 shares 2 rupees premium. That is rupees 180. 2 forfeited shares account that is 90 into 5. That is 9 5 ja 45, 450 rupees. That amount collected 2 plus amount collected is only up on application rupees 5 to share allotment account premium has not been collected including capital that is 3 plus to 5 90 shares into 5 rupees total which was due for collection and not collected that is 450 rupees in credit being 90 shares forfeited due to non payment of allotment money out of this 80 shares were reissued Bank account debited 80 into 10 rupees 800 to share capital account 80 into 8, 8, 8 is a 64, 640 to securities premium reserve account 80 into 2 that is 160. Being 800 shares issued at the rate of rupees 10 per share, rupees 8 paid off. That is a premium, it is worth rupees 8 and issued at 10. Rupees 8 paid up or called up for rupees 10. Very good question. The called up value, capital value will be 8 and the bank account value will be 10. 2 rupees is security premium reserve that is 80 into 2, 160. Being 80 shares, it is by mistake written 800 shares. Being 80 shares issued at the rate of rupees 10 per share, rupees 8 paid up. Here 80 shares we are issuing and by mistake I have written 800. Please rectify that. Then the third entry transfer of a capital profit to the capital reserve for capital reserve account. This is a issuing shares is a, and making profit out of the issue and forfeiture of shares is not your trading profit. It is capital profit if any. That is forfeited shares account debited. To Capital reserve account forfeited shares is forfeited shares account debited to capital reserve account 
450 is the forfeited value that is 450 by 90. 450 is the forfeiture value upon 90. 90 is the number of shares forfeited into NT, the number of shares issued minus 0. Discount on the issue is not there. The shares are issued at a premium. Hence, discount on the issue is 0. We are getting rupees 400. Then we will be writing in the forfeiture debit and credit column in third entry as rupees 400. Being forfeited shares account debited to capital reserve account that is rupees 400 in debit and credit columns being profit and forfeiture and reuse of shares transferred to capital reserve account the total being debit rupees 2100 and credit rupees 2100 and this is the final answer